Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement. I don't know why we're here. I do know why we're here. We're here for 1923, episode six, where we have left off. Spencer and Alex have been shipwrecked on this tugboat and a ghost ship. Why? What's about that says ranch in Yellowstone, Montana area? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Why, 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 why this obstacle? Of all the obstacles you could have thrown at them to get back home, ghost ship was your go-to. I don't know, are we gonna learn something from being shipwrecked with the ghost ship? I don't know, I guess the only way you can find out is if we can watch, right? So we're gonna watch. You and I, we're gonna watch this together, especially if you're watching this on Patreon. You can watch the whole thing for me from beginning to end. Woo-hoo! So thank you, but thank you, no, seriously, thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. We are going to get under the big cozy blanket. We are going to get my waters around here somewhere. Hope you have your favorite beverages as well. And let's just get to it. <gasps> Tiona. Tiona, where are we going? Helene Balak Bajay Kowo. Kohi Rustach. Yeah, get her out of those res schools. Red schools, red school clothing. Hank Jr. Wa shut a cat. By Esta Sheila, Kogo J. Jiduk. Das wa Isichioi Dak Bajeoda Ila Sashiluk. Kalagon Haksish Hina Belela Shish. Basse Ishobe He Dwa Nitik. Jo. Who are Shodoka? Ashita Sachi. Much more Kuga, Ma Alalo. Oh, yeah, burn it. Burn it good. Exercise, exorcise, exercise, exorcise that shit right out. Where'd she put all the Bibles? Did she bring them with her? She did carry them with her. Well, I guess she couldn't leave a trail of Bibles in her wake. However, How many times did he hear the book? Ah, twice. But the deal does go it. I was so a la hot. In a Paulat Pachpe, a lochia gulak, Kalachi, Palais, or Hose, Tachiche. Then bury it. Just bury them. Maybe we bury them. Bury them deep. Mm-hmm. By the creek where the ground is soft. Be such a rainwater. Don't hurt her. I have a warrant for her arrest. Please step aside. She killed two teachers at the school now. Step aside. My goddaughter, <gasps> you, you make no sense. What are you doing? <gasps> Harboring a fugitive is a felony. What is a fugitive? Get out of my house! Get out! <gasps> oh no, Grandma. He killed her. There ain't no sign of her in the... He killed her. What happened here? She attacked me. I pushed her back. She must have hit her head on the stove. He killed her. You were here. You saw everything. Didn't you? Yeah, she attacked you. They killed the grandmother. Of course they did. The show's terrible. This show is so terrible. <laughs> Oh, jeez. How would you even begin to forge a hole in this ship? Because <laughs> my thought goes, how do you dig? There's no digging. Where'd you learn how to swim, Spencer? In the water, local watering hole? 
She found a hole. She found a hole. I should say a pocket. She found a pocket. I would have tried not to panic, but I don't think my lung capacity for swimming like this I don't know. We're not gonna make it through the day. Got water and shake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where's the ghost ship, by the way? I have to go back down. What for? Because we need things. Hey, stay here. Those are dumb things, just stay in the center <laughs> of the hole. Where's the ghost ship? Oh, he does have his rifle with him. I don't know how good it's going to be now. How did you get way out there? How did you get... Oh, why? For a life preserver that didn't preserve in your, your life? Now my swimming has been limited to pools. Would it be easier to be under where the tides not, the waves aren't hitting you so much in the face? Or is it suck either way? Stay on this hole. It's about the luckiest thing that ever happened to you. <laughs> Make contact with the ship before we went down. He didn't tell them where we were. They know we're here. But he didn't tell them where they were. They swore out in the sea. Wow, those eyes are blue. They did make, oh, his eyes are blue. It's good to see you moving. Glad someone enjoys seeing me moving. Pretty stiff? Yeah, I'm big. Sucks all of my strength from me. Plus you're like a thousand years old. Spencer's coming home. Kara sent the last letter to Africa. And then we'll get after their asses. Start asking around real quiet. But who wants to be on the posse? Half the cowboys around here went to California. Oh. Quitters went to California. Tough ones are still here. Find some. Find some. Want me to saddle you a horse? Eventually. Hmm. Are you currently employed? Ma'am? Do you have a job? In the spring, I have a job. What ranch? Ma'am. Why are you so curious about where I work? Well, you're applying for the position of livestock agent. Would stand to reason we consider your previous employment. Who's conducting this interview? I am. Mm -hmm. What the hell does a woman know about law enforcement? Absolutely nothing, but I know men. You see, I can look in a man's eye and know if he can be trusted. If he can maintain his composure while facing adversity, an element of this interview you seem to be failing. Big time. My own mama never talked to me like that. Hmm? Maybe she should have. That's what I was thinking. <gasps> Key Jack. We thank you for your interest. <laughs> Don't forget your hat. <laughs> okay. Go easy on the head, Buster. Yeah. Nobody speaks to my aunt like that. Are you currently employed? No, ma'am. I have a homestead north of Big Timber. That's a long ride from Big Timber. Three days or more, but wow. three hours by train. <gasps> that mentions shrink the world, eh? What makes you want to be a livestock agent? Regular pay? If you think the thieving's bad here, go east. If we lose ten head, we feel it. Plus, I know the life. <gasps> oh. Was a copper during the war when the stockyards was booming. Chicago. I don't know what hell is but it ain't worse than Chicago. Well, thank you for your interest. We'll just... <laughs> so in there, you received it. It pays 220 a month. How many is that? Three. 
Jacob said we need at least 20. 20? It's just going to take some time. We don't have any time. Care, time is the one thing we have in abundance. You have it in abundance. Mm-hmm. My family, however, has run out. I need to show you something, Will. She does? She does? Oh. Is it going to rain on? Oh, it's sweaty. I'm like, is it raining on them? Nope. What's that? Uh, something to eat the fish. Bigger fish. <laughs> Tuna, I think. Oh, it looks like a shark. Now, Spencer, how good is your now rifle there? Won't you just make more blood? And I don't think you have enough bullets for all those sharks. The big shark. <laughs> this episode's a little whiplashy. There's a lot of nothing happening right now. Everyone's just kind of waiting for something. We're just waiting. See that? Oh, what is that? Cutting a road. Oh, up the side of a mountain? A road to nowhere then? No. Yes, you're going to be holding, nursing me back to health pretty high over my head. Put it this way. There is no more debate about a generator or a clothes washing machine. Mm. It's coming. Pretty expensive nurse. And you might want to lean on your cane for this one. Don't say it. Motor car. Motor car. <laughs> Gosh, Jacob would probably plots if you found out that someday they're going to ranch by helicopter. You leave all the fighting to the agents. I'm not going through that again. It's not my intention to get shot. Nor is it my intention to become a widow. Yet. <laughs> they're blasting a mine right above this ranch's main water supply. Hmm. Justice would be a luxury. My concern is survival. I know. That's why I did it. Did what? <gasps> Don't be mad. I did it for you. What did she do exactly? That was a quick handoff. Exactly did you do, Kara? For God's sakes, Jacob. You know how bad this looks? And there's a dozen witnesses that say the same. But no proof anywhere. Mm -hmm. You want some fucking proof? Gee, some fucking proof! And there's more proof buried in that graveyard here! Where's all the bodies of the Crichton men? Running on the Wyoming border. Train station! Now, I know what you're up to. And I won't allow it. I'll arrest him in the morning. And in the meantime, everybody, and that means you, gives a statement to the deputies. So we didn't get around that a whole bunch of men disappeared? Like, not just left for California, but they just disappeared? <laughs> they must have all been single with no family. Damn right I'm mad. Where are you going, sir? You give your back to me. After it's not even justice. It's vengeance you seek. Mm hmm Never mind he'll be arrested in the morning. You'd rather put the bullet in him yourself. You think it's you who suffered the most? How would you know you were asleep half the time? Well, I bathed you and spoon-fed you like an infant. You don't know what it is to suffer. Emma did. She suffered her way into the hole I dug her. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth knows it. If there is a line farming for vengeance, you are at the back of it. Yeah. I wonder if your pride can withstand the sacrifice of showing us the same courtesy. He still needs a moment. He still needs a moment. But she spoke truth. Oh, jeez. 
He's going to throw out his back just trying to saddle his horse. My brain's wandering. When was the last time they saw Spencer? Was it before the war? And he hasn't been back since the war at all? He just went, nope, can't face going back home. Oh, you're a big man now. He got on the horse. I guess that is an accomplishment. But still. I don't hear anything. You're supposed to hear him moving around. Not yet. It'll be six months or more. Well, if I can't hear it, I can't feel it. And you won't show for months. How do you know? Biology, pumpkin. Men sure know how to make babies, but boys, that where the mm -hmm. knowledge stops. <laughs> she listening in? <laughs> Awful cold outside to have that window open. Not in that room. Can't make two at once. Oh, she's going to hear a lot more well, soon. Teams are embraced in the sport a bit. <laughs> We can hear you! <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> you saved my life. A few times? A few times, I'm going to guess. It's not vengeance. It's preservation. You've been to Boston? Now close your eyes and imagine those places if the cities weren't there. Now think about what's there now. A 13-mile island of cement with rivers of sewerage running underneath it till they dump in the bay where salmon don't dare to swim. Mm -hmm. That's what they'll do to this place. I'm going to kill them because the men who build cities always send men like Banner first. That's his way of justifying it. I do it for you so that when you're laid to rest under the aspens, no one cuts him down and builds a city over you. That is true. That is true. I know how much you've suffered, and I thank you for it. God damn it, it's their turn now. Good night. <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs> Are you kidding me? In the dark of the night, ship found them. Good thing she's extra white blonde. I'm hallucinating. Well, his gun still works. Come on, save it, come on! And his ammo's still good. Is that possible? Don't use all your ammo in case the ship passes by you and you gotta wait for another one. <laughs> well, the ship's not there yet, pumpkins. Oh, there's a boat. I wonder if this is the <laughs> the ship that sent the letter out for them. Martinia, was that what it was? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I'd like to take you two to a casino. <laughs> Shiny penny that you have there, mate. You're not going to whip this skiff around with you still standing on the helm. Don't forget how I flagged down the ship. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Could I have one of those? I hope the ship's not going back to where they just came from. I suppose it's unnecessary to point out how lucky you are to be alive. Are they really saved? Is that what he's saying? You're not really saved. You're just in a new form of hell. 
Where in the United States? Montana. Your journey is only beginning when you get to court. You can say that. I got questions. I hear it takes months for an immigrant to gain entry. I was hoping that you could help me with that. Mary is now. You are the captain of this ship. I am. These are international waters. Mm -hmm. They are. And now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> Question. They lost all their papers, all their crap. I mean, he's got stuff. The gun works. Does he have money? How is he going to pay for passage to everywhere? Now suppose you have rings. No rings. <laughs> I have some. <laughs> Just here on standby. Just in case. <laughs> he does. <laughs> when sailors pass and you've no address to send belonging to their widows, they accumulate here. Rather morbid, getting wet with a dead sailor's ring. Yes, I would endeavor to replace it at the first opportunity. Ocean almost took us. Now it gives us rings. I think I'll keep mine. Yeah, she's had to find some tiny fingered sailor. <gasps> His wife's ring. His wife's ring. Belongs to my wife. The way it went among this eve. And where's your wife now, sir? Since she would she? If she's still alive. Would she? Oh, I see. That's a thing saying, oh, she's not really with us. <laughs> Her little sailor's outfit. <laughs> and they get a little picnic? Well. Take the wine. You two are dehydrated. You need some form of liquid. Your essentials, my lady. Enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I would be passed out exhausted after the day they just had. You haven't moved in an hour. Again, he's exhausted. Did, if he hasn't, wasn't breathing, I would ask if he died. Aneurysm, stress, okay, heat stroke. <laughs> I think our age difference is showing when one good ravaging has you knackered. Who says I'm older? <laughs> We're going to recreate the Titanic. <laughs> no light where we're going. It's moon and the stars. Why no lights? No electricity. Yeah, I suppose you'll tell me there's no plumbing next. No plumbing. Oh. <laughs> there's no plumbing. <laughs> You're marrying him for his plumbing? What's your dream? Make it through the season. That's my dream. Make it through the next two episodes. I'll tell you a dream. In my heart, I know it was wrong to take you. Everything that happened up to now was a sign. <laughs> a warning. Mm -hmm. That is a way to put it. The lines, the shipwreck. There's all the universe telling me to put you back. Mm-hmm. But you plowed along anyway. I'm just too fucking selfish to do this. My dream is that the universe is wrong. I'm following you wherever you go, whether you like it or not. Even into death, she'll follow him. That's what I'm guessing. The implication is. When the sun hits your face, I'm your shadow. When it finds my back, you are mine. Yep. Prophecy has been spilled. <laughs> Prophecy has been spilled. It's 
So if you've been watching my reactions for a while, you may have realized my brain works on a different function level. Yeah, when it comes to telling stories and little details that throw me off. Example, they're on this ship now. The captain's like, we got to get you, you know, you got to get through immigration and whatnot. And he assumed they weren't married because they didn't have rings. Okay, sure, fine. They got lost in the ocean. We were married. We lost everything. Slippy, slippy. This is all we have. How do you, how do you prove in 1920-ish that you're not married? You can say you're married. We got married here. I mean... <laughs> And the money, how is he gonna pay? Okay, he f managed to save his bag. Did his paper money survive the ocean in a shipwreck? Enough to get them from Marseille to all the different places in Yellowstone. And how does Jacob keep the ranch going with less men for the next two or three months when Spencer may arrive? What if Spencer never arrived, ever? Ever, ever. Jacob's waiting until Spencer gets there to form a posse to go after these guys, because that's what Spencer wants. War, immediately. Sure. <laughs> I'm to care, here to kill everyone out for you. What if Spencer never arrived? Or arrived and said, no, I've got a different idea. We're not killing these people. What would Jacob do? How long is he gonna wait for Spencer? Yeah, but this episode, there was a lot of nothing. A lot of nothing. Waiting on the ship, waiting on the porch while Jacob hobbles around the ranch. We had a few bright moments trying to put together the Livestock life Commission law enforcement team. That was an interesting little bit. That was two, three minutes. There was little moments, I guess, but a whole lot of nothing which I find interesting when you give yourself only so much time to tell a story. Why did we take so long on nothing really substantial? Personally, I like a jam packed story. <laughs> I like where every scene has meaning, where if I pull the scene out, the rest of the story, like if you pull a scene out, the story should fall apart. If you pull it out and nothing affects anything, it doesn't. Now, it will be probably until the series is finished when I realize if any of this makes a difference. Interesting. Interesting. How do you feel about your story? Do you like it jam-packed where everything has meaning? Not necessarily everything has to go quick. No, no, you can have your moments of slowness, but the slowness must have meaning for me. Yeah, because I know I've noticed Yellowstone and Yellowstone adjacent viewers are different than all the other series that I watch. So yeah, huh, huh. two more to go. What could not happen in the next two episodes? I don't know, but I do want you there with me when I do so. Please do not be strangers. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. I am kissing 10,000 subscribers. It's so close, it's so close. But in the meantime, so yeah, so do not be strangers, uh, but Go stretch, go walk, walk around your living room, go get something to eat, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time. <laughs>